Hello everyone, this is Antonio. When I'm coming at you with another exciting video, we want to in this video we want to talk about logo designs with hidden messages. Some of the top brands didn't just come up with their logo designs, they put a lot of thought and energy where the graph where they commissioned the graphic design company to put a lot of thought and energy into that design. Without further ado, let's dive into our first slide. In this slide, we want to talk about the brand Alpha Romeo. The logo contains a biscanone, an emblem of the Italian Visconti family, which represents resurrection. So if you look at the design, it's a cross, and also it's like some kind of sea serpent, or, and it's a person coming out of the mouth of the sea serpent. So it's like he's coming out to, you know, it's like he's reliving itself. So it's reborn. That's I mean, like a reborn, and that's what this logo represents here. Next, we want to talk about Amazon. Obviously, you we can see that the Amazon logo contains a smile, but what doesn't so obviously register with most is that the arrow goes from A to Z, meaning Amazon carries the most products under the sun. So look at the design on the right and you will see like the it's like a face in a way and it's a smile and it's saying A to Z. So it's a very uh, interesting logo and the vision of Jeff Bezos wanted to point out that although he started out selling books, he wanted to take it to another level and carry everything that uh, Amazon can carry that he had the muster to carry. And that's why they're the biggest online retailer in the world. Next, we want to talk about Baskin Robbins. Think about how many flavors of ice cream Baskin Robbins, uh, Robbins serves, and if it doesn't already, and if you don't already know, they serve 31. So, with that in mind, take a look at the B and R in the center of the company's logo, and you should see that the very number written in paint is 31, and that means that Baskin Robbins, car Robbins carries 31 flavors. Next, let's talk about the popular Beats by Dre that was developed by Dr. Dre. Uh, that you know he was one of the one of the creators of this brand. And at the time when they created the brand, it became one of the top headphone brands in America. And if you and if you add a smile at the bottom left hand side of this red circle, this logo becomes an image of a person in profile when beats headphones so you got to be very creative and looking at uh you know pay attention what you're looking at and then you will see that the beats headphones is a person wearing the headphones and uh you know that's what it you know it's like a profile picture next let's talk about cisco if you know what the company cisco does then you will already know that the lines in the logo are meant to represent a digital signal. Signal. What you may not know is that the telecommunications company got its start in San Francisco, and so those lines are also meant to outline the city's Golden Gate Bridge. So if you look at and if you're familiar with the Golden Gate Bridge, I know you're probably going to take out your phone and type in Golden Gate Bridge, and then you're going to look at the the you know the analog lines at the top. And then you will see that it's a bridge on top of, you know, the logo, I mean, the word Cisco. All right, let's talk about Continental. So when you look at the logo at first glance, it's the words Continental with like a stallion, you know, galloping uh, at the end of the logo. But if you, but the C and the O form a tarry. So that's basically what the, you know, the, the hidden message that's contained in this Continental is the CNO uh, forms a tarry. All right, let's dive into the next slide. The next slide is for a company called Magic Coffee. The logo doubles as a coffee cup and a magician's top hat. Some might suggest this is more of an illusion than magic. So if you look at it at first glance, it looks like a cup sitting on a coaster with coffee inside but if you look at it at a different angle, it looks like a top hat. 
And that's the designer who created that made it, you know, made it more like an illusion, but they did a very good job with the with the design itself. All right, let's so let's talk about FedEx. The hidden arrow represents speed and precision. So if you look at the design right here between the E and the X, you can see that the arrow is pointing to the right. So that means that FedEx is always on the go and basically they're telling you that they're going to get your packages on time and I don't think FedEx make left turns. I think they always make right turns if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if, if you work for FedEx, leave a comment below, but I think that they only make right turns. So now let's talk about Formula One, the one of the top racing companies in the world. The number one can be seen between the white F and the red waves. And the red waves signify speed. And then, you know, of course, the one that represents Formula One, F1. All right, so let's talk about this one, Hope for African Children Initiative. The Hope for African Children Initiative, or HACI, aims to support African communities by making children lives better. And their logo, both the areas they help and the people they serve are represented. Seeing as the negative space in the image helps to create both an image of the continent of Africa and a child looking up to an older woman. So when you they don't generalize the child in this uh, image itself, but you can see the layout of Africa, of course, and it's like a mother looking down on a child, uh, looking down as a sign of protection because people from Africa or people in the diaspora of Africa, they call uh, they call Africa Mother Africa because that's the birthplace of civilization so that's where a lot of people signifies africa as mother africa and that's why as a woman looking down on this child okay let's talk about hyundai the h in hyundai equals a handshake what represents customer trust and satisfaction so you really got to look at it but it's two men shaking each other's hands as a form of trust and the form of equality and that's where the you know the emblem comes from so no it's not a knockoff form of the honda it's actually two men shaking hands for trust and satisfaction who would have known unless you would have looked up the research of the company itself all right now let's talk about the cooler zoo and the cooler zoo at first glance the logo may seem like just an elephant but you can see a star rhino and a giraffe in the white space also at the very end of the at the very end of the tail it could be known that this is a crocodile or alligator coming out of the water so that's what this logo represents itself so Beautiful design, the Cooler Zoo. All right, so now let's talk about Levi's. Levi's, the bottom portion of the logo uh, logo re uh, resembles well apple bottom jeans. Also, the bottom part of the logo represents two pockets, and that's what the rebrand of Levi's looked like. Is a well apple bottom jeans and also it signifies two pockets. So that's the hidden images in that. All right, so now let's talk about LSO. The symbols of the London Symphony Orchestra represents orchestra conductor with the baton. So basically, it's a, a conductor that's overseeing the orchestra in motion. So at the bottom of the L is like the baton and he's waving his hand at the orchestra. That's basically what this logo represents. It's a real, uh, real play on words and design. I think it's a real beautiful design. All right, let's talk about Museum of London. When you look at the design, it just looked like the words Museum of London, 
with some beautiful uh, uh, a color palette. But it has a meaning. Each vivid color represents the changing borders of London throughout its history. And that's what it signifies. It's showing that London was once small and then over time it kept growing, growing, growing. So every time it grew, it signifies a different color. Uh, the graphic design or marketing company did a real good job with this as well. All right, let's talk about NBC. NBC, if you look closely, you will see a peacock. And the colors represent the company's pride in the programs they create and the shows they broadcast. So basically, they want to keep the, if you know anything about a peacock, a peacock spread its wings with beauty and grace. And people love peacocks unless when they're attacked, they're seeing the image in, the, in a beautiful uh, $100,000 car and they're scratching it up. That's what uh, peacocks do, uh, what I read that they do in Canada. Uh, they scratch up cars because they, you know, beautiful cars shows reflection. And when a peacock see the reflection, they start attacking it. But anyways, other than that, people will see the beauty and grace of a peacock. And that's what NBC uh, led off when they designed, uh, when they had this created. All right, let's talk about Northwest Airlines. Northwest Airlines, the N is also in W with an arrow pointing northwest. So if you take your marker and trace the whole design, the N equals a full W. So basically, they just want to show that they fly from north to west, basically. And that's what this uh, logo represents. All right, so let's talk about Pinterest. Perhaps it's pretty obvious now. But Pinterest logo, the P within the circle, resembles a pin. So basically, when if you know anything about Pinterest and you take a picture on Pinterest, what do you do? You pin it to a board. So the, the P inside of the Pinterest is a thumbtack. And it's like you are taking a picture and you pin it on the wall or you pin, pin it on like a cubicle or something like that. And that's what the P inside of Pinterest represents. It's a thumbtack. All right, let's talk about the Pittsburgh Zoo. So when you look at the person, uh, Pittsburgh Zoo, at first glance, it looked like a, a tree with birds flying over it. But if you look at the left and the right of that tree, on the left side, you will see a gorilla. And on the right side, you will see a lioness, which is a female lion. And they're looking at each other. And those are some of the animals that that's represented in this zoo. So they wanted to to, to draw in different uh, type of animals. And also at the very bottom, you will see two fish jumping out like a lake or a river. So those are some of the things that's displayed in this logo. And you really will have to look closely at the design to understand what you're looking for. But this is very a beautiful uh, logo design. All right, so now the next design is Quicksilver. The logo is stylized version of the famous woodblock print, the Great Wave of Kanagawa. So if you know anything about surfing or anything like that, that's what this wave represents, and that's what the logo represents, Quicksilver. All right, let's talk about Audi. The four circles that compromise, comprise the Audi logo represent the four companies that made up the Auto Union Custodium in the 1932. Hitler, when he in the in the 1932 Olympics, Hitler wanted a brand, an auto brand, to stand up against every other brand uh, that it competed against. So he forced four brands to form together, and that was the DKW, the Horch the Wanderer, and the Audi. And that's what those rings represent. It was four companies who merged into one to form, which is now known as just plain Audi because Hitler wanted to uh, have a brand of strength. And that's what Audi represents. Four brands coming together to show their strength. And that's what the rings represent. 
it was a, a brotherhood, a union, and that's why they merged together. All right, so I'm hope I'm, I'm gonna say this name right. If I don't, don't butcher me. But Toblerone is was formed in Bern, Switzerland, where Toblerone was founded, and it's often referred to as the city of bears. So if you look at the mountain that's on the side, you will clearly see that there is a bear, like it's climbing up the mountain. So basically, therefore, when the company created this logo. It decided to hide the outline of a bear in a negative space of the Matterhorn Mountain. And that's basically what this represents. Really key for what this artist did to bring this um, design to life. It's a real beautiful design. All right, let's talk about Totillos. The two lowercase t's in the logo represents people holding a chip and the dot on top of the letter I serves as their bold of salsa. So let's look at this design at close glance. It's a very creative design. It looks like two people having fun. They're holding one salsa chip. The I represents a table and on top of the table is a bowl of salsa and basically they're going to take that chip and dig and, and dip it into the salsa. And that's why Totillos is one of the top uh, uh, chips that's dedicated for salsa in the world and that's what this brand represents a lot of people that see like once you see something you can't unsee it so basically that's what this brand represents tortillas all right la tour de france when you look at the logo at first glance it just looked like so squiggly lines going back and forth but that's not the case the hidden within the Latour de France's logo is the image of a person bicycling. If you don't see it, look closely at the letters OUR and the orange dot. That is a person bicycling, and that's what this logo represents. Latour de France. Beautiful design. Artists did a great job. All right, let's talk about Toyota. Like, when I first started studying the logo to Toyota, Somebody told me that that was a, a, a basically a person with a cowboy's hat. But that's not the truth. As I dug deeper and started doing a little bit more research on this design, you will see the word Toyota actually, the word, the logo Toyota actually spells out Toyota in the logo. And that's why I put, if you look over it, I illustrated everything up top. So, Every letter within the word Toyota is actually hidden within the logo itself. The T is the center. The O is the outer ring. The Y is also made of the center rings. And the A is in the, is the right in the middle. We, uh, we all learn something new every day. So you can pause this video and you really can see everything that I'm telling you. That's the T. That's the outer ring. That's another outer ring. That's the T. This is the uh, the A. It's all there. And finally, let's talk about Unilever. Unilever's logo was designed to include a little bit of everything. The British Dutch company included a spoon, an ice cream, a jar, a tea leaf, and a hand, and much more. In their logo design, all which reflect the essence of their brand, they basically made a U, and inside of the U, they included all types of hidden facts and artifacts in the de designs. There are some very creative artists and graphic designers and, and people that works on different uh, logos every day. This video is basically talking about how companies just don't come up with a design. They just don't create a design out of the blue and say, I don't know what, they, what I want. They actually dream some of these designs. They put it in, uh, they write it down. They tell that graphic designer what they're looking for. And then it's a process to go in fact. The process is that graphic designers start creating different logos and concepts rather. They create different concepts so they can put it as a proposal to the client. And when the client looks at it, then they can say which one they like, 
which one looks good which one can represent the company then possibly they want some different type of uh, revisions provided to that logo until you find the perfect perfect logo to represent your brand so basically that's what this video is about is it's talking about hidden images that's in logos now the my video is not limited to because there are other uh, logos with hidden messages that I did not include in this PowerPoint so if you do have other uh, logos with hidden messages leave them down below and uh, we can discuss it you know have fun with the video because that's what this video is about so thank you for watching our video please subscribe and leave a